It's not hard to find hot pot rice in New York City. In Chinatown, Guangdong and Hong Kong residents are craving this specialty, and it can be found in practically every Hong Kong restaurant. But it doesn't come without a bit of a wait. We're talking 30 minutes or so. If you're hungry for some one-of-a-kind rice with a chewy crust and fresh meat, then we've got the spot for you. Let's go check it out. Ding Ding Hot Pot Rice has more than eight flavors to choose from. You can also combine two or three together to get a variety of tastes in one meal. For hot pot rice, there are some important factors. Marmite, the level of fire, the ingredients, and sauces. You have to combine them perfectly to get an amazing dish. Oh, that was so good. It smells so good. Okay, That's going off we go. Let's have a party, a One, clay pot party. Two, three. Hiya! Woohoo! Oh my! For me, I like the sink, the crisp Oh, hard. that looks so good. So it's crisp. It smells really good. So that's why they cook it in the clay pot to give yeah. it that crispiness. You're so clever. As opposed to, You're say, a so wok clever. or something where they would fry it and it would not have that and sear on it. And inside the rice is good. It's, it's tender, it's chewy, so it mm. gives you different texture. That sounds divine. Wow. At the bottom and the sides of hot pot rice is the rice crust. It's the signature of this dish. To make it, you have to start with a good marmite. Next, the pot is brushed with oil. The heat the rice is cooked under is also very important. We're going to try the classic preserved meat hot pot rice. Mm. Wow, Cantonese cooking, I've gotta say, some definitely some sweetness. This is not like the sausage that I would expect. Like Americans, we usually like smoky sausage, things like that, a lot of um, a lot of crazy flavor, but this one is like sweet, delicate, very good. <laughs> she likes I love it. it. I think she likes it. I can skip the meat, but all the crispy part is good. Is that your jam? And also, too, speaking of meat, we have some, what is this, like Chinese bacon in here? Mm. How different is it from bacon, from American bacon? Sweet and smoky? Sweet. Took the words right out of my mouth, this one. This is why we're co hosts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's made with hot sausage and topped with green mustard cabbage. The simple made food is a treasure for Guangdong people. This dish is best when the meat and rice are fully combined. When making this, Ding Ding Hot Pot Rice has their very own special recipe. The sauce plays a key role in this dish as well. Even with a little sauce, it brings the flavor and essence of the dish to life. It's not the normal soy sauce you'd imagine, it's top secret. The sauce will tell you everything you need to know. If the flavor and the restaurant is worth it. The best sellers at Ding Ding Hot Pot Rice is the ribs hot pot rice. The ribs are stewed with special sauces and come out juicy and flavorful. When mixed with the crispy rice crust, they're a home run. We have the pork here. I'm excited to see what all the hype is about. The sweetness of the soy sauce is goes perfect with this really juicy pork. Oh man! And rounded out with the uh, with the tender rice, delicious. What do you think? Mm. Mm. 
Yummy, yummy. This this kind of pork is we put in about twenty different ingredients. It needs two to three hours to cook. One day can sell about a hundred pounds of pork. It's just a pork rice. Thai Shan Eel Hot Pot Rice is another signature that diners love. Just like different cooks cook in different ways, different people eat the same dish in a variety of ways. While this dish is very traditional, Ding Ding makes it modern with its flavors and eliminates the fishy smell. Huang Shan, all are made by the day, and made by the day. We have no time to make it. We are very fresh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have to give this a compliment. The cilantro is a very good, like, it goes very well together. I wouldn't have expected that, to be honest with you. And I'm seeing, look at this, this, like, beautiful crunchy cavity right there. I know. This just means this bao zai fan is very good. Tian, you're going to share some of your good rice with me? I hate it. I like it. That is, that is the best. I can see why I like it. The final dish we are going to try is salted fish hot pot rice. The salted fish meat pie is a specialty from Hong Kong. It's usually a homemade dish and Ding Ding has added some extra twists. Ding Ding hot pot rice cuts all of their meat by hand instead of using machine. According to the owner, all the meat is handmade and is just as flavorful as what you'd find in China. The strong smell of the salty fish and meat may turn some people off, but if you have a good palate, you'll know it's an amazing dish. Let's see how I feel about this super local Hong Kong flavored dish. Can I just call it dry aged fish? You can, exactly. They can dry age a steak and apparently they can do so. Man, I think, ooh, which one's your favorite? I know, me too. I'm really, as I can see why some people love it or hate it because the flavor is very intense, but a good intense. This is very distinct. Really, really yeah. fantastic, yeah. Salty, but sweet, and a lot, it's a lot of flavor. A lot of flavor stuff going on there, but we can handle it. I love the salted fish hot pot rice, and I think it's better than the others I've tried. All of my work as a food show host has made me appreciate local Chinese flavors. Yum! Oh, and I also forgot, every single dish comes with a side dish and soup. Use pigu, and huang dou, and hai dai. Ah, we here the tang has three or four types of tang. According to the season, we will choose our own. Tang tang's tang is can use I like it a lot, and also to going from the uh, clay pot to the wood ear to the soup, it's like my mouth is in harmony. It's in pure. It's like relaxed again. And then when I want to start up on the other pots, I can do it. So I bet you're dying to meet the boss. She's got beauty and brains and knows how to enjoy a good meal. Meet I can say that as a lot of people, because I've eaten the best pot rice in Hong Kong. I've eaten the best pot rice in Hong Kong. Thank you. 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 After she came to the U.S., she made her special skill a career. From rice lover to business owner, what is EE's secret to delicious meals and returning customers? It's love and dedication. While this dish is local to Hong Kong, she believes that New Yorkers will enjoy it. It's filling, flavorful, and warming, and will make you feel like you're back home. Yeah. 
有做到正宗的辣味的煲仔饭的基础上，还有还研发了其他的这些口味。我们的店刚刚开出来的时候也是只有四五种口味。然后后来经过很多的客人跟我们反映，他们有希望尝试到，呃，比如说麻婆豆腐，像这样类似于有点辣的饭，经过很多次很多次的，呃，实验，所以才后来才推出这样的，呃，新产品。The flavor and smell are key when it comes to hot pot rice. Many customers are ordering hot pot rice to go, and Yi Yi sees the quality of her food as her first priority. 就生米放在这个外卖盒里，把它蒸出来的。Some people complain that the hot pot rice is only one topping, which is too simple. E found a great solution to this problem. 之前我们刚开店的时候也是每一个饭就一种口味，可是我觉得呃，我们希望尽可能的给客户带来最实惠的享受，让他们可以选择一个饭的，然后可以选择两两种的口味。Between ordering it and eating it, you'll spend much less time waiting at Ding Ding Hot Pot Rice. You can choose different combos to top this crispy, delicious dish, and it'll taste as fresh at home as it does in store. E goes out of her way to make her customers feel appreciated. With its local taste and great price, Ding Ding Hot Pot Rice is a must visit. You've got to be hungry now. We will work hard to make every meal special, so that customers know the best food. 一六一煲仔饭位于法拉盛罗斯福大道和王子街交叉口附近的纽约美食城内，七号线地铁出来走一个 block 就到了，进门右手第一家。关注中央美食微信号，根据以下问题直接回复 A B C， 答对者就有机会获得一六一煲仔饭十元代金券。